Hey everyone, Eric Franklin here, and I got a little present for you, the ASUS Transformer Prime running ice cream sandwich. ICS is the latest version of Android and so far had only been available on smartphones. This is the first time anyone's seen it on a tablet in the wild. So we're gonna dive in and see what, if any differences, there are from Honeycomb. The first thing we notice is that the lock screen now allows you to go straight into the camera app if you want, making the prospect of getting a shot of that super cool thing that's happening right now eh, a little bit more likely. On the home screen, the biggest difference is how we access widgets. Honeycomb had a little shortcut at the top of the screen, or you could press and hold the home screen, but now widgets have been grouped with apps, making them feel less hidden than before. Moving down the screen to notifications, one of the annoying things about Honeycomb is that if your notifications start to fill up, you have to close each individual one. Now, ICS allows you to kill them all in one fell swoop and let the tablet god sort it out. Also, instead of simply showing you the last message you've received, ICS consolidates all mail notifications into one, showing you how many new messages you have. Moving into settings, you'll notice right off the bat that things are subtly different. Settings have now been split into four sections, wireless and networks, device, personal, and system. Beyond that, there aren't really any huge changes to find here, just a few useful refinements. There's now a data usage section that details just how much overall data you've been using, as well as individual app usage. There's also a specific battery section showing more detailed battery information than we've previously seen. Adding a new Google account now gives you options as to which specific Google services you want synced. And new developer options allow you to access things like CPU usage, pointer location, and my personal favorite, allowing you to kill apps as soon as you leave them. Performance-wise, we didn't notice much difference from the previous version. GPS still works great in our testing, but web browsing is still slower than the iPad. Overall, the biggest new feature is probably the built-in photo editing tool, which offers some pretty good options. Well, we'll see what my cat thinks at least. I also like the fact that recent apps can now be closed with just a quick swipe. Well, that's pretty much it. ICS feels like a step up from Honeycomb, if only a small one, and I definitely recommend installing the update. Check out the full review of the Transformer Prime for more details on these and other changes. Once again, I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at Ice Cream Sandwich on the Transformer Prime.